I'm at my favorite store. Uh, if you guys have cracked grout in the corners of your showers and maybe along the the uh, where the floor meets the walls, like I did, I just recently spent a little time in my master bath uh, fixing things. But uh, uh, get yourself some of this stuff. It's sanded tile caulk, and it's siliconized, and it comes in the various colors. Mine happened to be, where is it? Uh, haystack that was my color and it's made by a company called custom which most tile people are familiar with they make a lot of the adhesives uh, and the um, thin sets and where is it all the grouts too uh, and also before I forget get yourself one of where is it these just a little uh, grout saw what is this? 13 bucks. There's another one for 10 bucks. Kind of like the feel of that one better. But and I'll put links down below for this uh, this stuff. But let me. Uh, I'll take you take you home and show you how it played out. Okay, we're back home. Let me just take a second and explain to you why grout fails at the corners in the first place. You want to remember that that houses expand and contract and different parts of houses expand and contract at different rates. I'm going to give you an example. Th this wall right here, what's behind it is the garage. So it's obviously hotter in the garage. I live in Florida, but it's hotter in the garage than it is in here. So this wall is going to expand and contract at whatever rate it does. This happens to be a, a glass block, but uh, yours may be just a wall. Uh, that's exposed to the outside so that's exposed to more of a temperature change and that temperature change shows up at these corners uh, this wall over here is uh, backs up to the master uh, bedroom which is also air conditioned so this wall has less expansion and contraction than either one of these uh, down along the bottom the the floor is going to expand and contract probably the least of all uh, while this wall is expanding and contracting more. So what happens is grout joints start to get cracked and uh, and even along here any real really any 90 degree you're going to experience some cracking which I did uh, and it's not the fault of my tile guy uh, he finished the job and had grouted it, and I told him I would come back along and run a bead of silicone, clear silicone, which I, I never did, uh, and that, that kind of helps it from doing that, or it takes longer. But uh, uh, in any event, I did not do that, and so I came in and got my handy-dandy little grout saw right here, and all you do is you just come in and you want to grind the gnarly caulk or the, not the caulk the uh, grout rather grind away the gnarly grout if you have a, a, if they did run a bead of silicone over top of the grout take a let's see I've got a utility knife you want to score it on one side then score it on the other and then get that that uh, uh, silicone caulk out of there and then do your grinding with your your little uh, grout saw and no you don't have to get it all out of there uh, just get it cleaned up and then you want to vacuum afterward and you want to make sure your surface is is uh, clean and dry make absolutely sure that it's dry Use your caulk gun. There's a thousand videos on YouTube to how to show you how to caulk, but cut your tip. Don't make it. Don't make the opening too big. And you're gonna run a bead all the way down. Keep a bucket of water with a sponge. I always just kind of finish off my joints with my finger. Damp finger is all you need. Incidentally, it's always a good idea to put a little dish soap in the water when you're dealing with anything that's silicone but uh, and then you'll come in and just finish out your joints 
and make sure everything's nice and clean. One thing I will say about this, uh, this uh, sanded grout is it's fairly moist. So when you wet your finger, you might want to kind of take a paper towel and dry it a bit. You want your finger just kind of damp. If it's too wet, it'll make this stuff start kind of drooling. But uh, let me show you the kind of the finished result. Use a flashlight so you can see what I've grouted or caulked rather all along the ceiling. I ran a bead down the edge there across the bottom across here and across there up here got a little shelf there I did that as well and underneath it incidentally mm -hmm. and then the little bench seat going around there and even on the outside I guess the light doesn't help to look at it maybe over here yeah along the edge of the bull nose I did that too and cleaned it up and uh, it looks just absolutely beautiful and really easy to do and uh, just wanted to share that with you. Hope that helps. Have a great day.